in Privacy Watch today, the world's largest biometric ID system that tracks more than a billion people in India has been hacked several times. Earlier, we spoke with Alex Clement about it. He's a writer for G Zero Media's Signal newsletter. He's also a CBSN contributor and part of a new partnership between CBS News and G Zero Media, a Eurasia Group company. So what the Indian government do has done is developed a biometric database uh, for one billion of its citizens. Ninety-eight percent of Indians are, are covered by this. Um, and it's a database that includes biometric information, address, phone number, and so on. Um, and the idea was to give every Indian uh, citizen uh, an a form of identification that they can use to access government services, right? This is a huge deal in right. a country where tens of hundreds of millions of people don't have basic documentation. This is particularly an issue with the rural poor, the urban poor. Yeah. They don't have basic documentation, which for many years has either shut them out of access to government services or forced them to go through extortionary middlemen to try and get access to those services, right? So what the Indian government has done is say, let's use technology as a solution, right? To bring these people into uh, the kind of formal, you know, right. relationship between government and society. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the, that's the positive. Of course, there's always a negative. It's a double edged sword, as you guys were talking about with my, with my colleague Willis last week. Um, there's a double-edged sword with these technologic, uh, technologies. The, the, the downside is uh, it raises two very important questions. First, how secure is that data? Right? Last week, a story came out uh, that mid-level bureaucrats running the system had been selling access to the data for like 7 or $8 a pop. Uh, there were some hacks last year of the Adhar system. Right. So the first so question multiple is, hacks. That's multiple hacks. Disconcerting. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so the question, the first question question is, um, how, uh, how secure is this data? And the second question is, it's all well and good to give this much information to a government or to a corporation, right? People who are watching us online are, right now are giving data about themselves to their internet provider, right. to, their, to, their, to their browsers. Um, when you give that much data to a government or to a company, it's all well and good in the name of convenience or efficiency and so on. But what happens if that government dis or that company decides to use that information for more nefarious purposes, right? Um, who controls that? Who's keeping an eye on these things? This is a huge political question in a number of countries around the world, right? So, so in this case, India, it's 98% of the people. I don't know if you, did you throw out that statistic? Yeah, which is yeah. more than a billion that's a, that's right. people. That is, right. that's a lot of people, right? Yeah. So, um, but, but if it's a billion people or a hundred people, the question is still the same, all right? How secure is this data? and who's using it and for what purposes, and who's keeping an eye uh, on the governments or the companies that have data like that yeah. to make sure that they're not using it for, 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 for more sort of malevolent purposes. Mm -hmm.